Obviously, it is much easier in the European environment for a mega big company to organize funding for an innovative process or new product or a new business idea. For smaller companies, this is extremely difficult. In, in, in a setting where still 75 to 80 percent of all corporate finance is done through banks instead of the capital markets. And therefore, there is a very good reason for a crowding in institution like ours to participate in this kind of financing and make sure that these little or small or medium sized companies have a chance. I actually think that Europe is probably the best place in the world to invest right now. Uh, we're seeing the United States retracting from the world and the entrepreneur, entrepreneurial uh, atmosphere in Europe is extremely good. And we're seeing the emergence of a lot of huge companies here. Um, and of course, what we try to do in the EIB is to address market failure. So if we see a company uh, which would not necessarily fly off without a little bit of public help, when we come in, will crowd in investment. Our global polling shows us that, uh, at least today, people are not frightened of the technology, but they're deeply anxious about their jobs. And I suppose the critical question comes back to, will the technology be deployed by human beings? Will there be a uh, human contract? And will there be human-centred mediation? Because if human beings are going to hand over control to uh, another entity, then that's the central question. One of the problems that we have today, which is about skills that also Werner Hoyer referred to, is that we don't have yet the right skills for people to be in between these two worlds. So you have people that are in Europe very good at engineering in the physical world. You have people that are very good in the digital world but you don't have people that are good at both. I uh, would uh, caution from giving the perspective that um, uh, in tomorrow's economy, everyone will be a gig worker sort of constantly uh, you know, on standby. We're not seeing that. But that being said, uh, the social systems will need to adapt. It's also a good question to ask whether unemployment, long-term unemployment could be possible now that we have Uber. On the negative side, we will probably see something that we've never seen, which is a very fast, volatile, planetary, monopolistic situation. In the world 2017, and this planet does not have one single rule that is applicable for all.